Hi everyone, it's Grace from Esri. In this video, we will follow the author map tutorial in ArcGIS Pro. This tutorial focuses on authoring a multi-scale map, which is a map that looks good at any scale the user zooms to. To make a good multi-scale map, you need to think about filtering your data, setting visibility ranges, and choosing appropriate symbols. You can follow the step-by-step -step instructions for this tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. I've started ArcGIS Pro, signed in, and opened the Author Map project package from ArcGIS Online. The data in the starting map includes medical facility locations, roads, population centers, and rural areas. Currently, the map is hard to interpret because the symbol colors are arbitrary, the roads are too dense, and some of the layer names aren't very meaningful. First, let's reset the panes for mapping to close everything but the contents and catalog panes. We'll rename the layers so they make more sense. The first method to do this is to right-click the layer name and open its properties. You can then change the name and it will update in the contents pane. Alternatively, the Properties pane can be opened by double-clicking the layer. And another method is to click a layer name once to select it, and then again to make it editable. Right-click the map name and click Properties. We will change the default map name to one more descriptive for our map. Let's add some metadata as well. Metadata for your map can include descriptive information and tags. The coordinate system is already set to a projection optimized for our study area, but it's good practice to check. Base maps are used to provide more context to a map. They frequently include information like roads and labels. Our map includes roads already, and we will add our own labels, so we should pick a simple base map. We'll use the dark gray canvas and remove the reference layer so it doesn't conflict with the labels we'll add later. Let's symbolize our layers to help users visually interpret the map. In the Contents pane, uncheck the checkboxes for medical facilities, roads, and cities so that only the urban-rural classification layer is visible. Zoom to the full extent bookmark. Open the urban-rural classification layers attribute table and expand the description field. Our layer includes three classes, settlements of 3,000 plus people, accessible rural areas, and remote rural areas. Close the attribute table and open the symbology pane. We will symbolize using unique values to assign a different color to each class. Click the Add All Values button to display the different classes. Click the symbol value for one. This is the value for cities, which will be symbolized in gray. The outline width is reduced to zero. Click Apply to commit the changes. Symbolize the accessible rural areas with a light green. If none of the ArcGIS colors fit your needs, you can create your own. For the remote rural areas, we will customize a shade of green using the color editor. Make sure the color mode is set to RGB and change the values accordingly. Set the outline width to zero and apply the changes. Click More and uncheck Show All Other Values. The Symbolized class field only has three values, so there aren't any unsymbolized values to show. In the Label column, double-click the value 1 to make the label editable. Change the name to Cities and Towns and press the Enter key. Update the other labels to Accessible Rural Areas and Remote Rural Areas. In the Contents pane, the layer shows the header class above the updated symbols. The labels make this header unnecessary. Click the header once to select it and again to make it editable, then delete it. Turn on the roads layer. You will notice the large number of road features clutter the map. We will reduce the number of roads using a definition query. Open the layer's attribute table. There are over 400,000 features. Right-click Road Type and click Statistics. This creates a chart displaying the different road types included in the layer. We will decrease the number of features drastically by only displaying the major roads. 
close the chart, chart properties pane, and attribute table, and open the properties for the roads layer. Click definition query and create a new query. Construct a query that will limit the road type values to motorway, primary, secondary, tertiary, and trunk. Apply the query and click OK. The clutter on the map is reduced. Open the symbology pane and set the primary symbology to unique values. Add the roads values and uncheck the option to show all other values. We want the values to display in the table of contents in descending order of importance. Select the trunk value and click Move Selected Value Up until it sits below motorway. We will change the symbology for the motorway, trunk, and primary roads to use predefined symbols. Click the symbol for motorway in the Contents pane. In the Symbology pane, switch to the Gallery tab. Search for Highway and select the first result under ArcGIS 2D. Change the line width to two points and apply the changes. Follow the same procedure to change the trunk and primary road types to the major road and minor road symbols. Symbolize the secondary and tertiary roads by setting the color to yellow. The road symbols are updated, but they don't draw in their symbol class order. If they did, the motorways would display on top of the other roads. To fix this, we need to enable symbol layer drawing. At the top of the symbology pane, switch to the Symbol Layer Drawing tab and enable Symbol Layer Drawing. The map is looking better, but at this scale, the number of road features is still overwhelming. We will set scale ranges for the symbol classes so the roads draw at appropriate map scales. In the Symbology pane, switch to the Scales tab. You may need to widen the Symbology pane to view the scale bars. Leave the motorway and trunk values as is, this will make sure they display at all map scales. Change the primary scale to 1 to 500,000, secondary to 1 to 100,000, and tertiary to 1 to 50,000. The current map scale is smaller than 1 to 500,000, so only the motorway and trunk roads are displayed. When you zoom into larger scales, the other roads will appear as well. To test this, go to the Glasgow bookmark. Since the scale is larger than 1 to 500,000, the primary roads are visible as well. The River Clyde bookmark zooms in even more, displaying the secondary roads. If you zoom in a little more, the tertiary roads draw as well. Return to the full extent. Turn on the Medical Facilities layer. It is hard to tell how many medical facilities there are throughout Scotland, since many of the points overlap. We will change the symbology and use clustering to better visualize the presence of medical facilities. In the Symbology pane, switch to the Gallery tab and search for Hospital. Choose the medium size Hospital symbol. The Hospital symbol is composed of two layers, a red heart over a white circle. These layers can be modified independently. We will customize the white circle to improve readability by making it semi-transparent. Click the white circle to select it, and open the color properties. Change the transparency to 50%, click OK, and apply the changes. Make sure the Medical Facilities layer is selected in the Contents pane, and click the Feature Layer tab. Click Aggregation and select Clustering. Now, clusters of medical facilities are represented by proportionally sized symbols. You can experiment with the clustering radius. If you don't need to know the exact number of features in a cluster, you can turn off the cluster text. Explore the map to see how clusters change and return to the full extent bookmark. Let's turn on the cities layer and enable labeling so readers can identify population centers. Open the cities attribute table, right click the population column, and click sort descending. Five cities have populations of more than 100,000. You'll use this number to define label classes for large and small cities. Right-click the Cities layer and click Label. The labels overlap and don't show up well against the base map. Click the Labeling tab and click SQL Query. Construct a query that only displays cities with a 2015 population greater than 100,000.
To make the label stand out more, let's add a halo. Switch to the Symbol tab and expand Halo. Add a white fill halo symbol and apply the changes. The labels are now much easier to read. Next, we will create a new label class called Small Cities, construct an SQL query to show only cities where the population is less than or equal to 100,000, and add a halo. We will set the visibility range for the Small Cities labels so they only display when zoomed in. Currently, the polygon features in the cities layer display on the map as well as the labels. However, the urban rural classification layer already includes a symbol class for cities and towns. You'll make the features in the cities layer transparent so that only their labels display. Change the layer name to city labels. Now that the layers are symbolized appropriately, let's explore the map at small, medium, and large scales. Our map is looking good, but it is important to make sure it is readable by people with color vision deficiencies. In the View tab, click the Color Vision Simulator drop-down arrow and select Deuteranopia. Deuteranopia is green blindness, which results in the confusion between green, red, and yellow hues. If we zoom into the map at different scales, we can see that the motorway symbol displays too similarly to the remote rural area's color. In the Contents pane, right-click the motorway symbol and change the color to Cherry Cola. The new color adds contrast and improves the accessibility of the map. In the View tab, change the Color Vision Deficiency Simulator to view Protonopia and Tritonopia, which are red blindness and blue blindness, respectively. The map can now be interpreted properly by viewers with the most common color vision deficiencies. Click the simulator to turn it off. For more detailed steps, follow the full written tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation linked in the description for this video.